Hello! It is Tuesday of the fifth week in Easter, and our reading today is the entire twelfth chapter of the book of Romans. There's a lot here. So how do we put it together in one brief exhortation? I think we look at the first couple of verses and see that everything flows from there. Because Paul begins by beseeching, he says, the brethren of Rome, that they would present their bodies as a living sacrifice, and that they would have their minds not conformed to the world, but being, but being transformed. And once we accomplish or work toward those two things, we see that the rest follows. Once we have presented ourselves as a sacrifice, and once our mind is being transformed into the gospel way of thinking, into Jesus' way of thinking, and not into the worldly way of thinking, then we're able to give of ourselves through our spiritual gifts, which is the next section uh, in this chapter. So we are able to be a part of the body and give our spiritual gifts, and we're able to give of ourselves in all of the self-sacrificing ways that Paul describes then further on down in the bulk of this chapter, in all of the behavioral imperatives that he uh, expresses, all of the ways that we need to treat one another. And they're all very important, but they all flow from this self-sacrifice of ourselves and our conformity to the Word of God and not to the world around us. And I want to encourage you that if you will offer up yourself as a sacrifice to God, say, I'm not my own, but I'm offered up to God. It's no longer I, but Christ that lives in me. And you take the mind under control and say, no, I'm not going to be conformed to the worldly system. I'm going to be conformed to the Word of God. I'm going to be conformed to the way that God does things, God's worldview, God's system of doing things, God's way of looking at things. Then you will find that you fit well within the body. You'll find that your gifts have a place to minister to others. You'll find that you have the opportunity to pour out yourself to others because as we are to God, so are we to others because we are the body of Christ. And I want to encourage you with that, that you offer up yourself as a sacrifice to God, that you not conform yourself to the world, but give yourself to those around you. And you'll find that Paul's imperatives of how we should behave and love one another will flow much more easily. And even when they don't flow easily, we have to say, okay, what part of me can I offer up to God now so that I might be to my brethren who I should be? I want to encourage you with that word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.